Calming the public in this current environment of safety lapses, Transportation Secretary Stephanie Pollack would not directly answer the question. How easy would it be for someone with bad intentions to gain control of any train? So the investigation will determine both whether our existing procedures, if followed correctly, were sufficient to protect the safety of our passengers, and if not, we will obviously make changes in those procedures, and it will also investigate the extent to which the required procedures may or may not have been followed. Since 2011, red line trains have had only one MBTA operator on board. So how long was the train speeding along before the MBTA control center knew? We knew within about 60 seconds, give or take 10 seconds, that actually that this train had actually exited Braintree Station it, without the motor person. T officials also said the train should not have been traveling any faster than 25 miles per hour in the bypass mode. They said they don't know yet if it was. We failed our passengers today because those procedures, uh, whether they were followed or not, Something happened that should not have been able to happen that put our passengers in danger. I am personally and professionally very gratified that in fact no one was harmed, but uh, what happened today is unacceptable. Now, three state agencies are investigating, um, along with one federal agency, and the NTS NTSB is making a decision on whether it will join them. Reporting live from Boston, Jana Wu, WCVB, News Center 5.